Base, Matty C here. Uh, it's good to see you again. Uh, it's been a few weeks, but I started a new job. Um, uh, started like I work in mental health and disability for those that know with children. Uh, so it took me a little bit to find routine and what days I had off and when I could do videos again. Uh, I'm continuing with Scaled and Icy 21 Pilots, uh, Mulberry Street. So uh, I haven't heard any of these, as you know. I'm just continuing on with it. Uh, what else do I want to tell you guys? Oh, thank you for the likes and uh, for the um, the new subscribers who have joined this channel. That's great. Uh, again, if we get to a thousand, I will be doing a giveaway um, for some tour tickets uh, in the US. Uh, and again, hope to if that continues, hopefully do that with further giveaways in the future. I've been all right. Uh, well, I've been pretty good. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've been back running and I've been back exercising. Um, I've still been kind of, uh, I guess, like doing things I shouldn't be doing, negative coping skills, but I've certainly increased my positive um, coping skills. So uh, I hope it comes across because I do feel a bit, little bit more upbeat. In fact, I just finished doing some weights then. Um, so I'm probably pretty charged from that. Uh, but I hope everyone's well. And this is Mulberry Street. Here we go. Strings to our hands and feet to rain on your parade. You can have the weekends, we will live between them. Keep your bills, save your bread, and don't ever forget. Get out of our way, we're moving sideways. Whoa, I'm not. Wow. Uh, again, it's really um, upbeat with that. The whole album seems to have that upbeat um, undertone to every song, but a lot of them obviously have darker meanings. I just want to go back. I don't know what this is about, but um, I like the start. Sorry, I am going to go back because th there was a lot of... Oh, come on. Where are you? Keep your bliss. There's nothing wrong with this. I liked this bit here. Keep your sunny days. Leave us in the rain. Tie strings to our hands and feet to rain on your parade. You can have the weekends, we will live between them. Keep your pills, save your breath, and don't ever forget. I don't know, obviously, what he's on about at the moment, but uh, I certainly like the start of this and how it's moving. That to me there, like, keep sidewalk under your feet is like, stay grounded. Um, that probably relates to the first first lyric of the song, keep your bliss. Um, get out of our way, we're moving sideways, we're moving over streets, we're moving over, pushing sideways, keep your sidewalk. Keep your sidewalk under your feet, yeah. Uh, I'm going to... I think, um, well obviously synthetic highs, uh, everyone relies on synthetic highs, so uh, as we know, you know, Tyler, this, I mean every album, every song uh, re relays back to his mental illness or mental health, um, and so yeah, a lot of people, especially in the industry I work in, mental health uh, and, and disability, um, people, doctors and people are very quick to prescribe um, prescription pills. So I'm pretty certain that's what he means by synthetic highs, which are, you know, medication or or, or otherwise. Uh, I don't think he's against medication. I'm certainly not against medication. I think it's an excellent, uh, an excellent uh, resource to use to balance you or to reset you or 
it's you know people need it every day and so i'm certainly not against medication whatever we can do um to continue us here and and if it benefits us then i'm all for so obviously if it isn't benefiting you i would certainly suggest that you talk to a doctor or someone uh, if it wasn't working for you um the this comment here i don't know what's coming up next but they find someone to prescribe I'll tell you a very quick story. At the start of COVID, so I haven't taken medication since I was 19 when I got out of a uh, psychiatric hospital uh, due to my anxiety disorder. So just uh, 2020, when COVID started, my anxiety had blown up. I was also working in a, I can probably tell this story now, I was working in a mental health um, rehabilitation clinic. Uh, it was sort of uh, in an acute setting of mental illness. Uh, one of my colleagues was severely injured. I can't actually go into that. Um, another a client w w left the facility and then um, something terrible happened when he left to, to a family member and then um, uh, on the third occasion uh, I was working with someone and they self-harmed really badly and this is all in the span of like a few weeks and anyway my mental health and anxiety had just collapsed and I, I didn't really have anything I wasn't doing coping skills, I wasn't running, and I wasn't so sort of meditating, I wasn't doing anything, my normal things, and I just started to really go downhill quickly. Uh, so I went into the to my doctor, because my, my psychologist that I've been seeing for like almost, I think 18 years or whatever, long, 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 long time, um, I can't talk about that either, but she got really unwell, so I wasn't able to see her, but I just wanted to reach out to someone, and I went to my a doctor, and I've moved houses recently. And this is, you know, like it sounds like it's all over the shop, but this is real life for people. Like people go, just go to your normal doctor. But, you know, there, there is other factors at play. And this was exactly like this for me. Went to a new doctor. On my forms, it says has troubles, has uh, trouble, uh, has trouble with um, diazepam or Valium, as most people would know it. Uh, I used to self-medicate very heavily in my 20s on, on Valium. And it's, uh, I'm very addicted to it. And it's not a great thing for me to uh, spoil myself with. I shouldn't use the word spoil, but uh, to indulge in. And um, this doctor just instantly wrote me out a prescription for 50 pack and antidepressants. And I was like, what the hell? What do, what do I do? Because in my head, I was like, oh my, I've got 50 Valiums. Like, this is sweet. And then um, thankfully, mm, part of me was in a very much better thinking state. And um, I rang, oh, sorry, I didn't ring. I messaged my psychologist because she could still communicate that way. Uh, and we talked through it and we had to go through that. But it was just so funny how quickly, and I hear these stories all the time, how quickly doctors are to prescribe medication. And he may not be talking about that, but that's just my take. And sorry, I know I just babbled on them for ages, but this is another thing. Like when you are taking medication, sometimes it can numb you. And that sentence there probably, like we just want to feel it all. Uh, you know, keep your bliss. There's nothing wrong with this. Uh, and these can this can be misconstrued easily. But I, I'm certain he's not. You know, he's he's saying it in a nice way. Um, keep your bliss. There's nothing wrong with this. But uh, he's doing such a good job because this is really good way to break down the synthetic pills section of what he was talking about. You know, and keep your pills. And maybe he's saying save your breath, like to the doctor. Don't even worry about saying we should try this, this, and this. That's For some reason I don't know what Mulberry Street is. Uh, I feel like that's probably like the biggest dead giveaway, but I don't know what Mulberry Street is. I guarantee though it ties into one of the old albums and I don't know what it is. Just a second, guys. Sorry. Hang on. Oh, just filming. <laughs> hello. John, look at the gun. Say hello. 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 I'm here. Yeah. Hello. This is River, everyone. Hello. You just got out of childcare? Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. Did you? Hang on, bud. I'll come out in two seconds. Oh. It's on the bed. And I'm on the end. I'll 
So I feel like I'm definitely out of the loop with Mulberry Street. This scaled and icy album is like we've I continue to say it's upbeat and toned, but I, I feel like a, a huge difference. I, I my opinion anyway, massive difference to previous albums I've listened to, uh, and not nothing wrong with that, but just I compare in comparison a total different uh, feel to this. Yes. Oh, I thought he was going. I thought he was going to break out into a a, a rap that he normally does, but let's do it. I feel like that was a short, sharp song to to give a message. Um, but again, really enjoying this album. Really enjoyed that song actually. Um, so yeah. Uh, I'm going to be doing another video as well and I'll upload this one tonight and thank you so much and I hope everyone's looking after themselves and again always stay alive. Peace.